Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial on Adobe Premiere. Today I'm basically going to show you how to do a 3D stereophonic effect, which basically kind of brings out the 3D side of your video, or should I say visual. So I've set it as a preset here. What you have to do is you have to copy your video, your video file and place it exactly on top. You know, for this to work effectively, you need to make sure that it's in sync with your if your second video so as you can see if i take this layer off it's the same video it's in it's in sync so now i set it as a preset here all it is is color balance so you set color balance here so that's color balance rgb i think i've got it on this one as well do i have it on this one no okay so we're going to set that again now for this to work effectively you need to set this 100 a hundred so put this one zero okay and put this one zero don't know why that's 101 okay so now what we do is we set this to liner dodge and we extend this a little bit more so we'll say I do it to 105. You could do 103, 105, 115. So now, as you can see, it's got this blue effect. Now you could do it two ways. You could do it with the blue effect, which is this. There's no sound at, at a minute. So you could do it with the blue effect, which is quite nice. You know, it shows a bit of a 3D effect. It's quite nice. Or reverse it round. So the top layer will have 100. Wait, hold on. So we would put 100 in blue. Not a thousand now just make it look crazy and then put zero then put a hundred a hundred you could do it various ways so like I'm just gonna show you the various ways you could do it so you could do it like that which is the way we had it before so as you can see it shows like a kind of like a blue reddish outline or you could do it like this zero so we want to keep the natural color so if we did let's try to do 100 100 there and then keep it just 100 in green because either way we're gonna have we're gonna keep the balance so we could have to do it like this so then that way it makes it look proper 3d or we can do this so keep this one 100 we'll put that zero so it's basically just experimenting with the colors but just don't go too overboard so like don't go into the 200 the 200 range because that makes it look real crazy so this is the true 3d effect now what i mean by this is that you've got the red and the green so that's the true 3d effect that's the 3d stereophonic effect so the best way to do it is make the second layer on top so this so that i'm recapping this properly put a opacity to line a dodge add and what that does is adds the colors in so you add the green and red outline change the scale to 105 make sure uniform scale is on so it looks proper if it looks too much for you you can also just put it to 103 103 will make it like proper that looks good so if you feel like it's still a bit too blurry, maybe just put 101. Because then it will just have like a little a slight outline effect. But then you can't really see it, do you know what I mean? So you got you just muck around with it. I don't know if you want to like even transition it. So that 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 is that is pretty much spot on. I like it. I think 102 would be the favorite. So now yeah, again to recap change the scale to like 102 103 105 and, and to suit your preference opacity to line and dodge add don't change the blend mode uh because it pretty much blends into the other layer color balance for the one that you're that the layers on top which is pretty much c which is the opacity is line and dodge make sure that it's green 100 and blue 100 make red make sure red is zero on the layer that is the true layer which i like to call it just call it, just leave it normal and the only thing you've changed in the color balance is red 100 
and you will get this effect which is quite nice I like I like the look of it it looks proper and that's what we call a 3d stereophonic effect if you have any questions leave a comment down below if you are having any difficulty trying to get this leave a comment down below and I will get back to you and help you out because really and truly all these tutorials are, are out to help people that are trying to do video editing or trying to do effects so if there's any problems leave a comment down below and I'll, I'll glad to get back to you and remember to subscribe as well because there's going to be more tutorials like this all right take care guys peace